Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So before we start with Apocalypse Legion, Apocalypse War, um, I did a couple of lineup changes um, since the last one. So we'll check this out, guys. Okay, so I this is actually my final lineup um, that I've been experimenting with. What I used before was... Um, I put the uh, what do you call this? I put where is she? So Harriet is going to be your first choice. So you're gonna re be replacing um, Aoi. Either of them would work, but definitely um, Harriet does deal more damage than 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 Aoi. So. Again, you need to have two defenders up top so that you could withstand a lot of damage. I'm gonna be um, talking about their equipment after me um, doing this run. So you have um, you have Miko down, you have Zephyr, and obviously you will have Kuroko in the middle. Um, new acquisition. If you don't have Kuroko, guys, you will have to swing Megan here up front. And you will have to choose another uh, vanguard probably that could replace here or another defender. So you could actually take uh, you could take three defenders if you have uh, uh, who is this again? <laughs> Izumi. I haven't used Izumi that much. So you can put Izumi here, but definitely if you don't have um, Kuroko, you will have to put Megan there. So while I have. Kuroko right now. I'm going to put her there. So this is your best lineup. This The last total that I had was more than 1 million for this lineup. So, so far, this is the best I could do. I'll show you the equipment right after this run. Okay, so to be honest, um, you'll have to withstand the, um, the ultimate of this bad guy. You don't have any other choice because again after the first the second the second will be okay i think you could still um absorb it but the third one definitely is going to take all of your team out so while you have kuroko there she's going to delay the ultimate and uh more or less give you time to prepare so again this stage is going to be a breeze if you do early damage. Um, because if you do late damage, definitely you, you won't reach that far unless your HP is that good. So again, everybody is cleared, um, is hit. Uh, only Miko dies, but she's up there. You know that. So you're going to be rebuilding from that. You're at 700 already at this point. Um, I think I reached 1.3 again for this lineup. So just have to have Zephyr here to maintain um, your energy, to maintain your HP. And the two defenders up top just to sustain or defend. It's actually just defending while Kuroko deals a lot of damage and also Harriet deals a lot of damage. So we're at 800 at this point. You have Miko right now. So just just uh, a little bit. Kuroko's um, just holding a bit for your uh, ultimate bar of your of this boss. So again, um, Ayane up there is actually kind of holding. Um, not that much, but definitely you're you're already close to uh, one million at this point. So once. There you go. So you're going to be left with four. Definitely at this point, you're just going to be dealing the most damage as you can. You're at 1.2. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to reach 1.3 at this point with uh, this left. But again, that is it. So we're going to be off to their equipment. Okay, so for equipment, again, for Zephyr, definitely you're going to have all HP. Plus, uh, Eternal Eden Badge. Then this is just an addition. Exclusive for Helper. If you don't have that, it's okay. Then the next Miko, you will have an attack set. Plus, a crit set. So you have the exclusive um, badge. 
you don't need the exclusive by the way you could have other badges there and also this one is also an exclusive enhancer for militarist so that adds on moving on kuroko i have her at the lifesteal set plus crit set of course then she has eternal phantom badge because this really helps her a lot attack speed and restoration of health um ayane also has lifesteal as you can see with defense here um because she's a defender she can she can really hold her own plus her um debuffs and she needs eternal midsummer badge plus this one is her exclusive um adornment reduces damage taken that helps as well then you have uh, who are the rest you have megan so megan um obviously you have to have ultimate um uh, set for her then you have the heal set for additional shield then this one is your eternal glory badge for her to give her more um survivability and the last would be harriet where is harriet okay here she is so for harriet you're gonna be using a uh attack set definitely plus if you have this at pink better um i only have this at uh, yellow stripe so her hp set uh, gives her a bit more survivability plus she also gets a eternal prophecy badge um as her badge okay so that is it so again um please be reminded that there are um there were substitutions that i suggested and please take note of them if you don't have the figures that i have so that is it guys hopefully you could this help you in achieving more points actually in this runs and uh, thank you guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here